Hi, I'm Allie from Infragistics. Today we're going to show you how to create a pie chart using the Nucleus Control Kit and Xcode. Let's get started. First, we're going to open up Xcode and create a new Xcode project. We'll do a single view application and call it Chart Sample. Let's hit Finish and save the project to our desktop. The first thing we're going to want to do is add our IG chart framework. And as long as you have Nucleus installed, you can find that under the Developer Frameworks. Assuming you do, we'll just click Add. We're also going to use some sample data. So we'll just add that right to the project here by clicking Copy. The sample data we're using today just has a few properties. We're going to use the territory and the year-to-date sales, along with the generate method, which we'll use to actually generate everything. First, let's add an import to the IG chart framework. Then we'll add a reference to our IG pie chart. and we have these nice little data source helpers that can be applied for all of our charts. So we'll take advantage of that as well. Now, let's create an instance of that chart. We'll just initialize it within the bounds of our view. And we'll set an auto resize max so that it auto sizes when you rotate. Then we'll finally just add the data that we have to our controller. So we've got data equals IG salesman. We'll make sure that we add an import to that. We've got the IG salesman generate data method that we talked about before. Then we'll create an instance of our data source helper, which we'll use to populate data in our pie chart. The constructor has a few parameters that makes it easy to get up and running fast. We'll simply point it to our year-to-date sales property in our sample data class that we talked about earlier. So that's where we'll have our value bind to. Then we'll set the data source of our chart to that and click Run. Make sure we select our simulator. And there you go, you've got a pie chart. Let's make the chart look a little nicer by specifying a gradient theme. We'll just choose one here. Let's go with Finance 3 under Gradient Themes. Run that, and there we go. We have finished a beautiful chart with gradients, which you can also rotate if you like. As you can see, it's easy to create a pie chart using the Nucleus Control Kit and Xcode. So that's what's in development. See you next time.